Right, I think our adventure needs a cherub. I think uh, he's going to be too big. Um, I've got some really nice cherubs, but I don't think a full one. Oh, maybe a head and wings. Oh, that one, I think. Yeah. I think that's the one, and I'm going to make it look Italian. So I've filled in some of the um, holes in the compo. The compo, when you press it into moulds, doesn't always get everything. There are tiny little air gaps, um, and that's what all these are. So I filled that and sanded it. Now I'm going to be putting a couple of coats of yellow bowl. Let's add a few coats of yellow. I'm going to be coming in with some Italian orange bowl now. So the orange has had um, a few layers and I'm now coming in with a grey bowl. So the little cherub has had six coats altogether. Now, I said I wanted this to be Italian and every Italian frame has this orange bowl underneath the gilding. Um, it doesn't necessarily have this gray, but what I'm doing is gold on the head and a silver color on the wings. There are some Italian frames that have this lovely mix of silver and gold. I'm going to be fully water gilding the whole of this, which um, isn't easy. It's much easier to oil something like this, but I want it all burnished, so um, I've got to water gild it. So when you're water gilding shapes like this, you don't want really big bits of gold. It's just easier to wrap smaller bits of gold round the decoration. This is the bit that I would expect the gold to split because you've got to go down and back up and that it doesn't like doing that so try and roll it in so you can see the air pockets there as soon as you split them the gold splits which is fine you just have to patch it afterwards What's happening to this gold is I don't think there's enough rouge on the paper. You have this little bit of powder on here, which is called rouge. And if there isn't enough, it sticks. If you find that happening and you can't blow your leaf up onto your knife, best thing to do is turn the book over and peel the gold out that way. Right, this is the 7.2 white gold. I'm using white gold rather than silver because silver is quite a thick leaf. 
and it can be quite awkward to get round decoration. Um, and this is a nice thin leaf and it's a good silver colour. I do like to wrap the gold around the back slightly so you always end up catching that outside edge. I'm constantly wetting this because it is evaporating. Although it's cold in here, it has a lot of alcohol in, so it wants to evaporate. Right, both sets of water gilding is now dry. Um, sometimes on a cherub the face is burnished, sometimes the hair is burnished. So I've burnished up the hair, I'm going to do the wings and then I'll decide what to do about the face because I quite like it at the moment but we'll see. <laughs> 